Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will explain how to add objects to an existing graph. Most of the objects that can be added to a graph are displayed in the Add to Graph section on the Graph Tools ribbon bar tab. These include axes, legends, magnifiers, and math plots. These are the commands that will be addressed in this video. There are two options when adding an axis to a graph. Copy an existing axis with the duplicate axis command, or create a new axis with default settings using the axis command. Since these plots have very different x limits, we'll use the axis command. In the Position X Axis 2 dialog, specify the desired location of the new axis. This can be relative to an existing axis or at a specific data value. Tick marks and labels can be disabled or flipped using the checkboxes at the bottom of the dialog. Click OK to add the new axis. The new axis was added, but all the plots are still using the original X axis. To use the new X axis for the step plot, in the Object Manager, click on the Step Plot. In the Property Manager, click on the Plot tab. Select the new x-axis from the x-axis drop-down list. All plots are now visible since they are all displayed on x-axes with appropriate limits. Because there are multiple lines on this graph, it would be beneficial to add a legend to correlate a plot with a specific line. To add a legend, click Graph Tools, Add to Graph, Legend. To move the legend, click and drag it to the desired location. The legend can be updated to show only existing plots by clicking on the Legend tab in the Property Manager and checking the Visible Plots Only checkbox. If this project contained multiple graphs, we would use the Graph Tools, Add to Graph, Multigraph Legend command to add a legend for the multiple plots across multiple graphs. Near the middle of the graph, the two plot lines intersect. We can add a magnifier to display a zoomed in view of this region to draw attention to this behavior. Magnifiers can be added to any 2D graph type. To add a magnifier, click Graph Tools, Add to Graph, Magnifier. Click and drag to draw a rectangle around the region to magnify. To reposition and resize the magnifier, click on the Graph Magnifier in the Object Manager. On the Modifier page in the Property Manager, set the Selected Box to Zoomed Area Box. Click and drag the box to move it. And click and drag the green handles to resize it. To sum the Y values of the multiple plots in the same graph and display a new plot using these summed Y values, Use a math plot. A math plot is a plot with y values calculated from a mathematical function with existing plots. By default, a summation plot is created, where the y values of selected line, scatter, and function plots are added together to get the math plot values. All plots must be on the same graph for creation of a math plot. However, they can use different axes and x values. To add a math plot, click Graphs, Add to Graph, Math plot. The math plot is added, which sums all available plots in the graph. To update the plots that are being summed or to change the equation, select the math plot in the object manager. On the plot tab in the property manager, Click the Edit button in the Plot Equation field. In the Math Plot dialog, the plots are listed at the top and are assigned variables. The variables are assigned by the order of the plots in the Object Manager. If the order of the plots is changed in the Object Manager, the plot variables automatically update to keep the math plot results the same. Below, the Plot Equation field automatically contains the equation for a summation plot. Operators and functions can be typed into the plot equation, or double-click and the function or operator will be added automatically.
A specific plot can be removed from the equation by deleting it in the Plot Equation field. When finished, click OK. This concludes the video training for adding objects from the Add to Graphs section to an existing graph in Grapher. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.